Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Metehan and my surname is Kurtbas. And I'm going to explain, as I can do, why are the number of terms and some formulas in arithmetic sequences like this. Please do not forget to subscribe. Let's start with first formula of the video. We want to explain why sum of consecutive positive integers from 1 to n equals n times n plus 1 over 2. Let's say sum of consecutive positive integers from 1 to n equals a. And let's write these numbers from n to 1. Some of these two arithmetic sequences will be like that. Left side equals n times n plus 1 and right side equals 2a. So we can easily write a equals n times n plus 1 over 2. Let's continue with second formula of the video and please keep in mind first formula. We want to explain why some of consecutive positive even integers from 2 to 2n equals n times n plus 1. We can write in a parenthesis consecutive positive integers like that. From first formula, we know the result of parentheses. Let's write. Now we can easily write sum of consecutive positive even integers from 2 to 2 n equals n times n plus 1. Let's continue with third formula of the video and please keep in mind first and second formulas. We want to explain why sum of consecutive positive odd integers from 1 to 2n minus 1 equals n square. From first formula, we know sum of consecutive positive integers from 1 to 2n equals 2n times 2n plus 1 over 2. On the other hand, we know sum of consecutive positive even, even integers from 2 to 2n equals n times n plus 1. Difference of these two arithmetic sequences will be like that. Left side equals sum of consecutive positive odd integers from 1 to 2n minus 1 and right side equals n square. Let's continue with fourth formula of the video. We want to explain the reason of number of terms formula in a finite arithmetic sequence. In a finite arithmetic sequence. Let's give an example. Okay. Let's y and x be a real number and t be an integer. Be careful. y and x don't have to be an integer. And this is our example finite arithmetic sequence. As you can see, from second term to last term, there are t terms. And on the other hand, there is a first term. Let's write. How we can write t plus 1 in terms of last term and first term and common or let's say constant difference. We can write as last term minus first term over common or let's say constant difference plus 1. Let's continue with last formula of the video. We want to explain the reason of sum of terms formula for all general finite arithmetic sequences with an example. In a finite arithmetic sequence, let's y and x be a real number and t be an integer. In our example finite arithmetic sequence, you can easily see sum of first and last terms equals sum of second and the second before last terms and it equals again sum of third and the third before last terms. Let's write. So how we can write general formula for sum of terms? We can write like that. 
sum of terms equals in a parenthesis last term plus first term times half of number of terms. Thanks for watching.